technology moves at an incomprehensible pace, it can be nearly impossible to keep up with. When Greg Stanichi began his career 17 years ago as a member of the Technical Training Unit, the systems we use to record and track important information looked a little different. Our organization, like most police services, uh, realized we were drowning in data. We then sought to design and develop a solution that would be unique to York Regional Police. That solution needed to allow members of York Regional Police to make decisions not only supported by data, but also driven by data. Something that allowed members to be proactive in preventing crime and keeping their community safe. The team responsible for tackling this monumental job was first assembled in 2015. We've got BI and GIS developers who will either build maps that integrate this data and present that data to the officers or dashboards which give them greater insight into crime trends. Since being rolled out to all policing districts, it's had an immediate impact at all levels of the organization. Well, this tool provides me with a tremendous amount of information at my fingertips. I am able to, at a glance, determine whether or not we're putting their right resources in the right place at the right time. The tool not only assists district command in allocating resources, but it also helps those in investigative units to work smarter, not harder. The really powerful thing about this tool is that we had access to all this information before. But it wasn't easy to search it, and it wasn't easy to search across all these layers at the same time. Earlier this year, Detective Constable Croxford used BI tools to help solve a case in Vaughan after women were being followed into their homes by an unknown man. What might have taken two or three weeks of surveillance and analysis before was accomplished in just 15 minutes. You couldn't just do this blanket search across all these layers at the same time, plot them on a map, and say, that's my guy. The amount of information that's available to you is unbelievable. Um, you know, information from other police services, coordinating together specific types of crimes and linking cases together, which is something we often use it for in our property crime office. BI not only helps officers do their jobs, but it also allows crime analysts to produce trends and research that gives commanders the ability to make more informed decisions. So recently, uh, the BI tool, I was able to use that to help me uh, with regards to break and enters. What types of uh, break and enters were happening, when they were happening, uh, where they were happening, um, and this allowed District Command to uh, better deploy resources to those hotspots. Putting BI tools in the hands of more than 2,000 sworn and civilian members wasn't easy. To get the job done, the unit added sworn officers to their team in order to better teach members on the road. These unique business intelligence tools have attracted the attention of police services worldwide. They have placed York Regional Police on the cutting edge of 21st century policing in North America. For developers, it's just a cluster of information, a name, numbers, and details on a screen. For citizens in York Region, it's a safer place to live, work, and play. And it's only the beginning. I am very excited to see where business intelligence goes. We've often said that business intelligence is not a program with a start and a finish. Business intelligence is a new foundational product for York Regional Police. 